Aubrey. She just got done with the Young Money class that I just did here in Grand Rapids, and she is so lit. Like, tell us what you learned and what you took away from my class today. I learned the five things you can do, the thing, five things you do when you get a paycheck that will help you build your um, your money up. It's a different word for it, but you know, I'm kind of nervous. So, what's the five so, things you don't do? So, I is one is first save ten percent. The second thing is probably give, and that's what I would do. I'll save and give, and then the other couple percent. I'm not gonna. Yeah, the other percent I'll put in a splurge, which is basically spending. And she's then like, already, you already <laughs> know she probably gets down. Right, and <laughs> you know, it all depends on you too. Depends on what priorities you have because some people don't have to pay their own rent some people don't have to buy shoes because their parents do that now if you are a person that always have done stuff on your own then you have to learn this you know faster than other people so you know growing up I did have it but then as I got to teenage years I had to start learning on myself and to get my own stuff and I always independent you know I always you know Try to get my own things because you know that's the way I am. Miss Independent. Hey. That's why I love her. Neo! Like, okay. But for real, yeah, this lady, she, she's a lady, she's a really good lady, okay? You should listen to her, get on her page, her website, her business, and get on tip she for her. She paid. She's doing right. this on her own. Get, get on her tip because look, you will be a boss, okay? <laughs> in the next five years, okay? And then not, not in two, because things take time. And a habit, you have to start a habit, you have to practice. Now, if you just sitting up here, um, say today, and three weeks later, you know, you're spinning. And the thing is, do not wait till 2019 and be like, oh, I'm gonna change, because in reality, you cannot change. People, I hate when people say, oh, I'm gonna change smoking in 2019. Why you wait all year to do that when you can't you can start it? Right, right. And then, it was going to change in 2019 when it takes time. You have to build up the habit. It takes about, in re, um, fat statistics, it takes about 30 days of you practicing the habit in order for you to change it. Mm -hmm. And you have to be consistent. So don't just say, 2019, I'm going to stop smoking. You have to practice it. You can't be like, oh, I'm going to smoke one day, and then you're just going to be back in the habit, you know? Facts. So. Facts. All right, well, y'all heard it from my girl, Aubrey, first. Follow me on all social media at Your Pretty Pennies. Head to my website. This is my baby girl. She was here at the Young Money class to get her coins together because right. she's a young entrepreneur already, too. And all right, thank you so much for watching this video and tuning in. Talk to you soon. Bye.